drum machine and the, and the synthesizers are so immediate like we can we can write music really really fast um, sometimes it doesn't always happen fast because we're not sure about something but it's very immediate and um, we like to kind of sing about weird stuff like as far as lyrics that that's always like the last thing that we tack on to a song um, but we want to keep it like geeky and stupid and, and real and fun and you know, we don't want to take ourselves too seriously. Lucky Peanut is another one. I don't. I think we're we like food a lot, yeah. and I don't know why that food is like reoccurring theme. I don't, I'm not. I'm not sure why. It just seems right. It just feels right. It's partially because we're cat lovers, and so we call our cats all kinds of weird like cute food names, names, like biscuit, too. Yeah, or muffins, yeah. or whatever. Yeah, that's probably part of it. I think so. website because they I guess you know there was a, a guy who set up this website the minute that the Pixies announced that they were going to be going back on the road and getting back together so uh, Matt and I were both like some of the first people to jump on and um, we knew of each other for like six months was it like six months um, and we never really talked and then one day we were on the same like uh, chat room or something and, and we started talking and it just kind of uh, tumbled out of control <laughs> from pretty there quickly, yeah. pretty quickly. And then um, I was living in Switzerland at the time, and I moved uh, to New Jersey to be with him. person mm -hmm. and we, yeah, I think we both fell pretty hard in love yeah. online and over the phone and you know I was working nights at the time and I would you know, work eight or ten hours at night come home and spend anywhere from eight to sixteen hours yeah, we on the were phone, on the phone with Jessie, a lot 
thank God for those prepaid phone cards because we would have been broke <laughs> if we didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Part of being in a band, specifically with like your husband, with my husband, is us getting off our asses to like just do it. You know what I mean? Um, but another challenging thing is booking shows. That's that's a big that's a big thing, especially living in Napa. There's very few venues here, um, and you know we have to travel which isn't a problem traveling around the bay area isn't a problem but it's hard kind of getting your foot in the door um, and it's hard bringing people here because either um, people want to come but there's no available venue or people don't know about it or people think like no you know screw napa we're not we're not playing in napa but we're gonna we're gonna change that we're doing our best to change Ah, ah, ah. You know, a lot of hardships you don't go through being one, just only two people, and two, being husband and wife. You know, That's I'm, true. I've, I've been in a number of bands, and you know, sometimes you couldn't get two people in the band to agree on anything, mm -hmm. and that's just such a We huge... don't have that tension. Where we're like, yeah, no, you know, damn it, I'm the, yeah. Yeah, you get together for a three-hour <laughs> practice and you spend two and a half hours arguing. Yeah, God, yeah. It's, you know, we just, we don't have that. Called Lady Business for female musicians because I feel like that um, when for me when I book shows I do a lot of the booking for us and when I book shows um, a lot of the people who I'm talking to think I'm a dude because my name is Jesse which is kind of a, a guy's name anyway but um, and I just feel like a, females just are underrepresented in music and I wanted to start the group to kind of help share resources and network with each other um, I also really wanted to find out if there was anybody out there, uh, female that are females that are actually running any labels or doing any promotion because it's such a male-dominated uh, area. So I, I did it to kind of foster a sense of community among all of the female artists that I know, because um, I feel like that you know we can we can certainly make amazing things happen with just the limited resources that we have. So. new merchandise um, and we're also doing a split with a Seattle band called the Blind Photographers and they're also an electro band uh, and that sh is due to come out in May so we're very excited about that we have a lot of work to do but it's gonna be fun. We've been incredibly busy but it's been great because not only do we get to play music but we get to just do all this work to solidify it and you know, really yeah. get us out there. Yeah.